Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another reaction. Today we have Thorns in You. This is a song that came out very recently, but I hadn't quite gotten to it yet because I had a bunch of stuff on backlog. But here we are, and I am ready to see what this is. The songs they release in Arc Nights are always really fun for me to hear, especially the newer ones, because I kind of get to experience them within the same window as everyone else and kind of retain that hype inside comments and everything. So I'm excited to hear what this one sounds like because so far none of them have really been a true decision disappointment so without further ado let's go oh mm, all right okay I already hit the jazz Ooh, let it Fizzle a little. There's a threshold you cross when the mm. starts to turn its abrupt, cheating your presence of peace. Stories big fat bass. Stars the Great mix. Judging the camera by luck. There's a dusty I didn't expect the genre, as I usually don't. I feel like I probably should have because I did see the thumbnail. Her voice is so soothing. It's got a very smooth texture to it. Mm. At the end of the road, in the dark, Ooh, hey, sit. Now you got the open hat. I've just been listening. I've just been listening. This is so pretty. Back to the ride. Okay. This is a very, like, in depth brass section, too. It's very layered. Gotta end on the high note. <laughs> Woo. Hit every note on the way down. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I have thoughts. I didn't want. I didn't want to say every single thing while I was trying to listen. <laughs> As I kind of said in the beginning, I really didn't expect to be brought in with the like French jazz, like New Orleans jazz burlesque energy <laughs> that the song gave. I think that might be a first. For the songs I've heard, at least, of Arc Nights, I think that that's a first for the genre. The brass was very, very thick, very, very well thought out. It had little runs and patterning that was happening underneath the base of the brass section that were, like, dan dancing around with certain notes. Like, you could hear the trumpets and trombones in there doing their own individual runs underneath the rest of the song. 
And it, that's something that it takes somebody who really understands these instruments and knows how they feel. Somebody who has studied, if not played jazz their whole life to really like get a grasp of and like how to write that and how to make it feel natural. And I've played a lot of jazz in my life, but that's just, it's one of those things where if you're not a jazz person, you don't understand jazz quite so well as somebody who does play it all the time. Duh. Exposure is a huge thing for any genre and being able to really nail those intricacies and finite tunings of each separate genre. So somebody who writes like this has to know jazz very well. They have to understand that exact sub pocket genre of jazz. You get this inspiration going on and it feels very much like songs you would hear from the older times where that scene was fresh and new and rich and the vocalist was gorgeous perfect pick it definitely does take a lot of effort to be able to write songs that feel like they fit in that genre the drums throughout were really simple but very very effective for jazz they definitely went between the hi-hat the open hi-hat they had in there to like really keep that energy built and then going back to the ride when things had to start cooling back down a bit that's just percussive understanding of how to use the energy of drums and whoever wrote this one definitely gets that 100% they understand how drums work in a dynamic sense which a lot of the time when you hear people writing for drums or programming drums and they're not a drummer you hear people overdoing things or like heavily pressing on certain aspects and features that really don't need to be forced so songs like this that you can tell the composer really understands what pieces and parts of everybody in the group to make a song feel natural that's what makes a good composer. So of course, as I made that comment about that's what makes a good composer, I decided to look in the description of the upload. And of course, it was your boy, our boy. Of course it was. The dude is one of the strongest composers that I've heard out of Ark Knights. And his music is phenomenal and his understanding is great consistently. I also wonder now that if it was Adam doing the song, that if it was Adam Alessi doing the drums who also did them on Morning Dew, because his pop is phenomenal and of course he would know jazz like that he does jazz all the time so i wonder if that's him as well because i could totally see him pulling that off with that level of intricacy and flavor i guess i digress now all my questions are answered it was adam goodman of course that'll be it for the video thank you all so very much for watching adam if you're watching this great job again and i'll see you all in the next video <gasps> goodbye